decentralization media. Hi, I'm Mr. M. In this video, we are going to look about Stellar blockchain. Stellar is an open source decentralized platform to do cross-border payment transactions. Stellar enables to store and share assets between cross-borders in a decentralized manner. In early 2014, Stellar is founded by Jet MacLab and Joyce Kim. Jet MacLab is a well-known person in crypto community because he is the same founder who founded the Ripple blockchain as well. As it's the same founder, Stellar has some similarities like Ripple, but uh, still still has some unique features as well. The main advantage of Stellar is to make uh, micropayments because uh, it has the low transition fee as well as very low transition time as well. So each transition time will be take for 3 to 5 seconds in Stellar blockchain as well as each transition will be cost very less amounts it's calculated in troops. So for example if you are doing a uh, if you're having one dollar you can make uh, 400,000 transactions in Stellar based on the current crypto price. So Stellar is made for micropayment transitions so you can build mobile wallets, you can build banking applications where you can build micropayments applications for shops so anything that you want to dream about payment transitions you can easily build using Stellar blockchain. Maybe you'll have a question now that how Stellar is making these transactions with uh, less time as well as very less cost because Stellar is a mining free chain. So before going to know about what is mining free chain and how Stellar consensus works we need to understand what are the other consensus protocol out there. So the main the main first uh, protocol is like proof of work that is used by Bitcoin as well as Ethereum and uh, some other famous cryptocurrencies. So proof of work is where multiple people will participate in a kind of a game scenario and try to mine these blocks. So whoever mining this block will be validated those transactions and, and who is the one firstly finding these blocks will be selected as the winner and who will, he is the one person will be get these mining rewards as well. So this is the mining process mechanism and in depth of so if you want to understand more about mining process you can watch our previous videos where we make, explain what is blocks what is mining and how this mining process works. And the next one is proof of stake where there, there won't be multiple people try to participate in to do this as a gaming process similar like proof of work because proof of work is kind of uh, wasting electricity as well because there are so much of people try to participate in that one and try to do this process but only one winner will be selected but it's a one way it's a good scenario because there are multiple people will be participate to do this one so the security and the trust of the system will be more higher than the other compared to the other consensus but in proof of stake what happens is there won't be multiple people try to be in the gaming scenario but whoever staking higher amount will be selected as a miner so anyone can stake the amounts and whoever is taking these higher amounts will be selected as a miner and then that only person or a couple of persons will be can do this mining process to create this next valid block so if they are doing a genuine job they will be get the money that they staked in their wallets and as well as the uh, rewards as well but if they try to do some uh, manipulations and if they try to be uh, bad actors in the system the portion of the stake will be removed as well as they won't get any rewards so in this scenario also like it's the money ma money mechanism we are no one going to waste their money to do some manipulations because they won't get any rewards and the next one is the Byzantine fault tolerance well known as bft where there will be multiple parties can do these uh, validations for the next block or else validate this transaction to come to a consensus process but in this scenario all the uh, validators will be validated and approved by one of the central party and central party will be given approval to who are the ones can do these validations and it will be more comes as a kind of a centralized scenario where there will be no decentralized process similar like proof of work or a proof of stake and these systems are VFT algorithms is mostly used in the private blockchains and the next one that is Stellar using is their own protocol Stellar consensus protocol or a federated design agreement so where there will be there won't be any central party to apply a point uh, who other ones can do this mining process but anyone can do this mining process and all of these nodes will be form their quorum slices so each node will be part of a quorum slice as well as they will be part of the other quorums as well one quorum will contain multiple nodes as well as each of these nodes will be part of the other quorums so each each nodes will be make their validations and they'll be do these uh, validate these each transactions and they'll be communicate within their quorum slice and then they'll be agreed on one thing whether to approve this transaction or reject these transactions and that message will be passed to the next quorum as well so this is how they maintain this consensus mechanism and they come to an agreement as a network scenario which which transition to be approved and which transition to be rejected if you look into the stellar architecture there will be two things one is stellar core and stellar horizon so stellar core is the one doing all the hard work and all the process and validation these transitions will be happening in the stellar core and stellar horizon is more like a apla where that will be transferred these transitions into the stellar core and re retrieve the transition related information from stellar core so each full node will be contained in the stellar core and the horizon and who are the nodes that are doing the validations will be only contained in stellar core and who are the ones that are only 
building applications will be only contained in this horizon to send these data and the horizon will be connected to the stellar core and stellar cores will be connected to each other stellar core to form this network and each of these horizon will be have a http services where you can send these transactions in xtr format and uh, that will be passed right away to the stellar core and then the network will be validated that transactions and approve or reject these transactions and if you want to retrieve any transaction related data we will be called the stellar core api stellar horizon apis and those will be passed that those will be retrieve those information from stellar core and that will be transformed to the front end application so we can build any mobile app wallets or online banking applications so any other application that we want to build on stellar blockchain that will be directly connected to stellar horizon and stellar horizon will be passed those informations and retrieve informations from stellar core if you look into side the stellar core there will be two things one is the stellar ledger as well as the sql db still is a hybrid architecture where there will be blockchain ledgers as well as sql db if you're taking ethereum or bitcoin there will be only ledgers or the block box will be there but in stellar core there will be ledgers as well as there will be sql db in the sql db there will, there will be all the other details will be like a transaction fees and transaction related data and the transaction hashes will be stored so this will be maintained that a fast update for the new nodes as well as if there's a node is out of sync so when they come to sync it will be easy to for them to update this re transaction related data as compared to uh, comparing to the time that taking for the ledger updates but in the ledgers also they store these uh, as a same like a block scenario where each ledger we mention as a blocks and each blocks will be connected to the next block and they will be maintained the same scenario as how the other blockchain works so stellar ledger has a characteristics like the genesis ledger so that is the ledger that is first created or same like a genesis block in any other blockchains and each ledger will be created within 3 to 5 seconds as we mentioned earlier so that is the time period to create uh, each ledgers and within that time period whatever the transaction that are comes and validated will be added to that ledger so each ledger will be have their own ledger number and that ledger number will be connected backwards to the other ledger numbers as well and uh, still has a uh, same like other blockchains there will be a previous hash from the previous block hash from the current block block same as the current ledger will be have the previous uh, ledger uh, ledger number as the previous link as well inside the stellar ledger header we have the ledger header as well as a uh, ledger entries inside each ledgers and the ledger header will be contained ledger hash previous hash transition hash and the bucket list hash so inside the bucket list hash they have all, all the transition related data will be stored and they will be create a bucket list and they will create a bucket and then they will be put that buckets into a bucket list and then they will be form these hashes so these hashes will be this bucket list will be mainly used for when there's a <clears throat> node is a, if they out of sync and when they sync again they don't need to get every data about the transaction so they can just easily get this bucket list and they can find all the hashes and they can do the other validations uh, same as what they did previously and the stellar dex is a decentralized exchange of stellar we are it's a similar like a decentralized exchange process in any other exchanges we are still has their own decentralized exchanges inside it that is in built inside the chain where there is a order book that order book will be have the buy orders and the sell orders and it will be automatically match those buy orders with the sell orders and it you can build any unique assets in stellar because it's a very easy process you can even use stellar laboratory to build these assets so we'll be do some future tutorials on how you can build these things in uh, in our future videos but uh, for now you can just have an example that you can create any type of assets and you can use those things to do a decentralized exchanges or traders as well so similar like that even if you want you can create a meat asset and that you can trade with a fish asset so even if you have a oranges you want to trade with some people who has apples so you can create your own coins and you can trade against the other people or you can even use that as a payment transactions as well in stellar smart contract there won't be any smart contract similar like ethereum where we can write whatever the logic we want but in stellar smart contracts we have restrictions of stellar operations where we can use these operations to write some kind of a smart contract that is not similar for have that not have the similar uh, flexibility like ethereum but we can write smart contract still we can write smart contract that is that smart contracts are more than enough to make uh, banking applications or else payment related transactions so in stellar smart contracts the main features are like we can use this sequence number to make these transactions uh, that will be more unique transactions and as well as we can use these multi signatures we have multiple people need to be signed to approve these transactions and other one other main advantage in the stellar smart contracts are where you can have these uh, time bound scenarios where each transactions uh, or each uh, contract we can have a time bound before this time or else after this time we cannot access these uh, transactions so for example if you set a time as a one week period of time then the uh, within that one week period only this transaction will be valid and after that it won't be valid or else we can set it like after one week only this transaction will be valid and before one week no one can access this transaction so we can make this a uh, stellar contracts in a uh, time bound scenarios as well as multi signature scenarios and there are other operations that we can use to make this smart contracts with some kind of a logics but uh, it won't be similar like uh, ethereum smart contracts so these are the stellar transactions that we have and uh, 
all of these transactions we can use to build similar kind of a smart contract applications that uh, exist in the current banking or the financial world as well as any payment application that we want we can use these operations to build smart contracts but uh, this is not as as i mentioned earlier this is not as the same flexibility like ethereum where we can write whatever the logic that we want but still we can manage this we can we can manage and we can create smart contracts using these operations so overall as a conclusion stella is a platform that you can make uh, financial blockchain based applications or financial decentralized applications so any micro payment application that you want you can build using stellar blockchain and that is mostly the perfect fit for any micro payments and cross border transactions applications so thank you guys for watching this video and do subscribe our channel and click the bell icon for future videos and make sure like if you have any questions please mention those questions in the comment section thank you decentralization media